Hey guys, Mark McMahon, Mark McMahon Real Estate. Thanks for stopping by. Today I want to talk about the three types of investing my wife and I do the most that makes us the most money and each one works off the other. So let's get right into it. That's something that's interesting to you. Please do me a favor and hit the like button, subscribe and sign up for notifications. Allie works really hard on these videos. She loves to see that. Thanks a bunch guys. Anyway, so the three main types of investing we do pretty much every month are buy and hold, ah, Mike, Allie, can you read that? Yeah. Excellent. All right. Buy and hold. We flip and we take part in trust deed investments also. So we'll break down what all three of these are, how it affects our portfolio and how you guys can get involved too. Uh, in your area or wherever you're at. So here's the be all end all. Buy and hold is where you want to be. You're doing these two things to get to this thing. Um, this might be something you could do in addition to this, but this is definitely the one thing you're going to be doing to probably create the most income. Sorry, the other one is, huh, <laughs> I made a mistake. There's not three. There's four. So we're going to put four types of investing because we also wholesale a whole lot of houses. So look at me forgetting stuff. All right. So now we're back down to it. So we also wholesale. So, uh, let's go over them one at a time. Buy and hold. All right. You guys have all heard of the Burr method. So you buy it, you repair it, you rent it out and then you replace it and then you refinance it. So I'm going to see there's four. So you buy, you repair, you rent, you refinance, then you repeat. All right. So that's what Burr is. Okay. So basically that's what we're doing with our buy and hold deals come in through our wholesale division and I go, Oh, I'd like to keep that one. And I do, and we fix it up and we rent it out and it goes into our portfolio. Okay. That's buy and hold. That's where you want to be. This is Numero uno, the big hosh. You want to make sure you've got as many of those as possible because that's how you're going to get to the point where you can retire. All right. Number two, that's what we did. Flip. We started off flipping. Our business was a flip business. We were not a buy and hold business, a wholesale business, a trustee business. We were nothing. We were a flip business. That's what we did. So that's how, that's our roots. What flips do is they provide income. Monthly, daily, weekly income. We live off of that. The rents go towards paying off rentals. They go off, go towards buying more rentals. We try not to use the income from rentals for anything. If we've got a slow flip period, we might use the money for this. But generally we use this for expenses. We use this just to perpetuate our portfolio so that we can retire without doing any of these things if we don't want to. All right. So flipping provides income. Don't forget that. It provides income or it's a J O B. Okay. It's a job. Jobs are important, but you want to get to the point where you don't have a job. I love flipping. I'll be doing it for a while longer. Trustee investing. This is another way. A lot of people start off trustee investing when they first get into real estate investing. What that is, is you go to somebody that is a flipper or someone that does buy and hold, or even someone that does wholesale and says, Hey, I got 50 grand. I want to put it to work. I don't have enough to buy what I want to buy right now. I want to make some interest on my money. Can you use it? And the other person will say yes. So you can go to investment clubs and you can wear a little sticker that says, I have money. You can talk to people that are doing flips in your area, people that are doing wholesaling, buying holds and see if they're interested in deploying your money. We do that here too. So that's, that's one of the things that we do is we do pride and that's, by the way, that's called private money. So that's, that's how we get a lot of our private money is people will come to us and say, Hey, look, I've got 50,000, a hundred thousand, a million dollars to deploy. I just want to do that. The one thing I like about, I'm sorry, trusted investing. And the reason I do it, I've got two or three people that I've been doing it with for years and that's it. I'm not going to do it with anybody else, but I've been doing that for two, uh, two or three people for many, many years is because it provides me quiet money. In other words, money, I don't have to put any effort into it. They do all the work. If it's for uh, a buy and hold, they deal with the toilets. 
If it's for a flip, they deal with the tile selections. I don't have to deal with anything. So when, in this business, you'll have money that gets stashed aside and you'll, you'll be surprised every once in a while. You'll look in your bank account and be like 60, 70, 100 grand in there. And it's like, damn, I don't want that just sitting there until the next deal comes in. So I've got, like I said, two or three people, I'll call them up and say, John, I got 100 grand. You got anything to do with it for the next couple of months? And usually they do. Usually they can absorb that and then I can get it back. So that is one side of private money. The other side of private money is you asking for it. One side is you coming to someone like me and saying, hey, I've got money I want to deploy until I can afford to buy what I want or go to somebody that you like, trust, or have met somewhere in the real estate community. Just make sure you know who they are. Be careful. All right, so that's trust deed investing. We'll go back to that a little bit in a minute. Wholesaling. Wholesaling is another thing that provides income. So that's income. It's also a J-O-B. When you wholesale, typically you don't have to have any money to wholesale. So you can start off wholesaling without any money. We did. We started off wholesaling 12 years ago without any money and we got deals and we made money. You can do the same thing. If you're um, going to do that full time, I suggest you study it and realize that it's going to take you a couple of three, four months to get your first deal. If you're looking online and someone says, well, I got my first deal in two weeks. It's probably true, but that's the one person out of 400 that got lucky. Typically our guys take four months to get their first deal. So just keep that in mind, but it's four months well spent because once that faucet turns on, it keeps going. It keeps going because that means we've done the pipeline video before. Maybe Ali, you can find the pipeline video and reshow that. That, that would be great. It's, a, it's in the flip chart, but I know I, I, I put it out on IGTV several months ago. Anyway, once you get your pipeline full, it starts spitting out people. All right. And you keep putting people in one end. It's going to spit people out on the other end. And that's what wholesaling is. It's also what flipping is and buy and holding is. It helps to have that pipeline full all of the time. So how do all these work together? They all work together fairly seamlessly. Wholesaling would be the one that provides the inventory, shall we say. So buy and hold comes from wholesaling. Flipping comes from wholesaling. Trust deed investing, we actually use that for wholesaling too because we also have to actually buy some of these houses and then resell them because we can't, we can't assign the contract. We actually have to buy it with money and pay interest, pay interest to our trust deed investors and then go ahead and resell it. So these all work together in concert, guys. When I hear someone say, hey, I'm just a buy and hold guy, you're leaving so much money on the table especially when you're beginning, you might get to the point, and I, I, I'm not at that point yet because I still like all these, but you might get to the point where all you're doing is spending your time doing buy and hold and that's it. And you've got 6,000 units and you don't need to do any of this stuff. I still kind of enjoy it. And I'll be honest with you, we make a lot of money doing these other three. So I don't want to give those up anytime soon. So anyway, that's it in a nutshell. These are the four, not three types of investing we do. And it's been really good for us, 12 years, and we're pretty much financially set. But I like what I do, so I'm gonna keep doing it. So anyway, again, guys, please hit the like button, please subscribe, sign up for notifications, and make sure and download, down below, you got a list of how to get started in real estate investing. It's just a simple list. It's steps you can start making today. No cost, it's free, and I just want you to get started. All right, guys, and it answers a lot of the questions that you've been asking, and you will be able to actually make progress this weekend if you download it today. All right, guys, thank you so much for being here, and I'll see you next time. Hey, guys, check out these two videos. They're really going to help you on your investment journey. I'm also on Instagram. Tons of great video content there. Really good stuff. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time.